Second round pick. <sighs> this better not be a rental. This better not be a rental. You got to be sure that you... Because there's no reason to rent somebody this year. And the other thing is, is that you're giving up two things here. You're giving up a draft pick and money. It's it's a it's, it's a two usually for one or a one for two. It's usually one or the other. Right. You want to give up a draft pick or money. Right. This is another one. It's like the Khalil Mack deal. And now now here's my question. So it's another deal for a pass rusher where it's going to be draft capital and money. Then. Are you now, if you're polls, are you now chasing the pick again? The second rounder? Yeah. Are you chasing that pick in trying to trade Jalen Johnson? And then you feel like, oh, well, I'm even, but I got a pass rusher and I've already drafted corners. And, so I'm and because, good. And because you're bad, it's going to be a really high pick. Yeah, it's going to be between 33 and 40. Well, that's Ian Rappaport just said if the season ended today, it's 35. Yeah, that's so between you, 33 and 40. I, I know, but, say, but he knows exactly what it is right now. So if you're you're doing it again. Well. Because the rental value is worthless this year. You're not going anywhere this year. This is why when we were talking about this in transition, the know. it's not that you got the trade wrong. This is why you shouldn't do a trade again. It's why did you get the trade wrong? Is your process sound? Was the process? Now look, Montez Sweat is a good player. He's going to help the Bears immediately. And for the texter that wanted you to explain this, what did you mean when you said Chase Young has a higher ceiling, Montez Sweat has a higher floor? I didn't think this was a particularly difficult concept. Sometimes you have to whiteboard stuff for people, Dan. It's okay. It's part of the job. The idea of a floor being what you know you are going to get at the very least from Montez Sweat, you know you are going to get a good pass rusher. He may not be a great pass rusher, but you know for sure he's going to be good. With Chase Young, you get the tantalizing possibility that he could be great with a little bit of bust potential. Right. With a little bit of the fact that maybe you're not going to get baseline production while you're chasing some of the high-end possibility that his physical traits promise. See, that wasn't so hard. I didn't say it was hard. It's just remedial. Just sometimes people don't know. Well, I know, but we don't have to but... help a brother out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, Montez Sweat is a bear, and the bears pay, a, frankly, a steep price. It's a steep price for a guy you're now going to have to pay. Who are you getting high in the second round next year that's the, as good as Montez I, Sweat? I, maybe, you're not, maybe you're not drafting that position. And now if you're going to lose Jalen Johnson... You know, especially maybe the point being, if the pass rush gets this much better, they don't need to pay a premium for corners. Well, and they already have two young corners that they drafted. And that ideally your pass rush being better would be better for them. I Second is really high. Their second is particularly high. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Okay. And and here's my thing about the draft. I get that this is not a great draft for the pass rushers. I guarantee you they'll still draft one. Maybe not high. I guarantee you that they'll still be on the lookout for it. So I don't know. It seems a little seems a little high to me. But they need someone who's gonna get after the quarterback. And it's not gonna be Yannick Ngakwe. That's not Yannick is not gonna be here, I don't think. Okay. Cool. Jim joins us on the score hotline presented by Circa Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, home of the world's largest sports book. How are you, Jim? I'm doing great. Dan Lawrence, good to be with you guys. Same, same. Uh, What do you think of Montez Sweat as a player? Yeah, I think he's an upgrade with what the the Bears currently have. I mean, you just you look at the game this past Sunday night. I mean, Justin Herbert had 40 pass attempts and basically was back there with T and Crumpets, uh, you know, delivering another strike for a touchdown. So he wasn't under duress at all. The Bears have lacked a pass rush for the past couple of years, even though they tried to sign some some free agents. And I do think Sweat will will upgrade it. Now they'll get a chance to look under the hood, see how he fits in their in their scheme, and then they'll hopefully the, they'll be able to figure out a, a contract for him that uh, really is suitable for, for both sides. It seems like he'd be an ideal fit for the scheme, right? You just put him on the edge and say, go get it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what he did in Washington. They basically run a, 
a 4-3. They don't really want to blitz very much, and, and that's really not who Matt Eberflus is. He wants to get there with the uh, the front four. Uh, the Bears haven't had war daddies to be able to, to do that. I think that's been one piece that's been lacking uh, for Matt Eberflus uh, the past couple of years as he's been a head coach of the Bears. I, I wonder about that too, Jim, because it's not having just the pass rush. I mean, we know that the big part of this defense being able to run correctly is to have that three technique in there. And for two seasons, they they haven't had what Matt Eberflus needs to make it work. And it, it makes me wonder if that's something that is really delayed, whether or not us finding out whether or not he really understands it can coach a defense to a championship level. Yeah, I do think that's a it's a key component to that defense. Probably the price tag for Javon Hargrave was too high and why the Bears didn't want to eat up a lot of cap space because he would have been the number one guy to to target here this offseason, but San Francisco gave him such a big deal that the Bears moved on. They obviously drafted a couple of guys like Dexter, who they want to fill that role. I think Justin Jones is is serviceable, but he's not a dominator. At, at the three technique and they got him for modest compensation to try and you know plug that piece but right now they don't have a dominator you need a, a Tommy Harris a Warren Sapp type of guy and that's who I think the Bears are going to try and target in the draft how would you value Jalen Johnson uh I like him I think he's a, a very good corner he's I talked to him in the preseason uh, before the preseason games he really wanted to focus on getting more turnovers Hopefully that's now going to be the case coming off a, a couple of interceptions and one return for a touchdown, which is good. But no, he's requested a trade, and that, that probably could happen. You know, I would think teams that that are that feel that they're now teams, i.e., the Bills who lost uh, Tre'Davious White, or say Dallas who lost Trayvon Diggs, you know, probably would be interested in Jalen Johnson. He is a solid cover corner. But if you trade him, I mean, you, you already traded a 25-year-old Roquan Smith, and we can debate whether it was a, a fit for the defense. It's a 24-year-old corner that's rated very highly as one of the best corners. Do you run the risk of, of sending a bad message to your locker room if you trade that guy too? Well, I think uh, it's 50-50. You know, they paid Cole Komet, who wasn't drafted by Ryan Poles, and I think I do think Jalen's a, a good corner, but what comes first, the up front or the back end? You know, I think definitely up front really can dictate how good your back end can be. There's a, a lot of good corners that, that are out there and be coming up in the draft. I do think the Bears drafted a good one, and Tyreek Stevenson, we'll see where it goes with uh, Terrell Smith because I've been impressed with him uh, so far I as well. So I think uh, – you know, there are young corners out there that they could draft if they elect to move on and maybe can pick up good compensation when you just give up a second-round pick for Montez Sweat.